Hi, lifestyle lovers. Welcome back to It's E Lifestyle. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Erica. My channel is called It's E Lifestyle, and it's all about creating a good lifestyle. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So this particular video is going to be a designer sunglass haul. Some of you have been waiting on this video. Some of you reminded me that I had said that I was supposed to film this video. So here I am with my designer sunglass haul for you guys. In my opinion, some of these sunglasses are affordable, but it would really depend on what is your definition of affordable. These sunglasses range anywhere from 200 and go up to $1,000. Although some people may not find that affordable, but I just wanted to <laughs> kind of put that out there before I started the sunglass haul. We're just gonna go ahead and start with um, Gucci because I probably have more Gucci sunglasses than anything else. At one particular time, I was absolutely in love with the Gucci brand. And so I purchased a lot of items, not just sunglasses from that particular brand until the whole blackface, you know, scandal. And so ever since then, I have not really purchased anything from the brand besides a bottle of perfume. But let's go ahead and just jump right into the haul. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So how I select my sunglasses is either I will see the pair of sunglasses on someone and just decide that I absolutely have to have them. But for the most part, I try to get sunglasses to go along with some of my other accessories like my bags or maybe a watch. So most of the sunglasses that I am going to show you, I do have maybe like a bag that will complement them. So this is the first pair. It is a pair of, I've been trying to kind of wipe them off. <laughs> because some of them I have not worn in a while. So this is a pair of white Gucci sunglasses. It has the green and red on the side and right at the top right hand corner, it has Gucci like in a cursive writing. So these are big face. They actually need to be tightened because they're kind of off center on my face. Oh gosh. So these are something, <clears throat> so this is like typically a pair that I may wear with a maxi dress or you know, when I'm going to the beach. I don't have a particular bag that I would pair with these. I don't think so. Okay, yeah, let's see. So if I were going to wear these particular sunglasses, I may pair them with the Gucci Marmont bum bag and kind of put it across me like this. I'm not gonna, but kind of put it across like this. So this particular bag will complement these white sunnies by Gucci. And these are very, very <laughs> old by the way. So the next pair of sunglasses that I'm going to show you were really, really popular at one point in time. It has like the, is that like a bumblebee or something? I think it's like a bumblebee. But Gucci had like um, quite a few items from this particular collection, but it has the green and red on the side, as well as with the, um, the GGs. But it's like a big face, big face shade. Absolutely love these. I haven't worn these in a while, but if I were to pair these with anything, let me see what I would pair this with. Yeah, I think I would pair it with this. This is like the uh, the Gucci, what was it? The, Bo the Boston bag, I can't remember the particular collection. <laughs> I never wear this stuff. But I guess if I would pair it with a pair, if I would pair it with a bag that I have in my collection, it would probably be this bag because it has like the brown accents. Oh yeah, I have to put these back in rotation. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So the next pair of sunnies that I'm gonna share with you were actually really, really popular amongst the celebrities. I think the first time I seen these shades were on Toya Wright. Uh, who was married to Lil Wayne, the rapper, and I absolutely had to have them. 
they were sold out for quite some time but I was able to get them well I think I believe I ordered them directly from the Gucci website but it was also part of that collection with the bumblebee on the end but it's actually these the rainbow uh, Gucci glasses that have the red then the black and the green in the middle and then it's just like a plain black on the side with the GG's I haven't worn these in a while as well but oh my goodness I am <laughs> I'm just like, really, I need to start pulling my sunglasses back out and placing them back in rotation. So you guys will definitely see me rocking these this summer. So if I were going to pair these with any bag out of my collection, it would definitely be the, I can't remember the name. It's a Boston bag, but let me show it to you. I definitely can't remember the name of this collection. But if I was going to pair it with anything, it would definitely be my Gucci Boston bag. The leather with the green and the red. Oh, yeah. With a black maxi dress. This would absolutely, yes, honey, yes. And I'm not sharing the case with you guys, but it's right back here. This is the original case that. They came in. So out of all of my Gucci sunglasses, this is absolutely my favorite, favorite pair. This is probably the most expensive pair out of the collection. This pair of sunglasses was actually a mortgage payment, <laughs> a large mortgage payment. But um, let me see, wipe them off so you guys can see it. It has like a blue tint to it, a blue tint to them. And they look like they may be scratched up a little. But I, I've had these for some years now. But these are another pair of Gucci sunglasses. And they are, they, they have the Savarsky crystals. I believe that's how you pronounce it throughout the sunglasses. I'm actually missing one right there. So I actually need to try to get that replaced i don't know if i can maybe with a dupe Sarvarsky crystal but it has the big ggs on the side oh yes so out of all of my sunglasses all out of all of my gucci sunglasses this is my absolute favorite pair this is the absolute most expensive pair in the collection and if i was to pair this with anything in my collection i would absolutely probably pair this with the gucci soho crossbody bag just because it's nice and dainty and very adult like like these sunglasses they are really 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 grown so um i guess if i was to pair it with anyone i guess if i was to pair it with anything out of my collection it would definitely be the gucci Soho crossbody and this is the actual type of case that these came in which is different from the hard cases it's like a soft velvety material and then it has I guess what is that silk in the inside that's how it looks on the inside okay lifestyle lovers so moving on to my Versace sunnies so these were really 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 popular I will tell you I do wear prescription sunglasses so at one point in time I would start at one point in time I was actually adding all of my prescription to my sunglasses until it start to be kind of expensive it was like hundred and fifty dollars each time I added my medicine to my sunglasses so I kind of stopped doing it but these particular Versace glasses that I'm going to show you, they do have the, they are prescripted sunglasses. So they had to take out the lenses because they were actually too dark and they had to add in their own lenses with the prescription on it. So one of the reasons that I don't wear these all the time is because sometimes the lens pops out. But these are, uh, you know, they have the Versace logo on the side and then right there in the front with the little leather piece on them. But these, 
these were actually a gift. I believe these were a gift for my birthday one year. So yeah, but I still love these. I don't wear them as much, but I still like these. I'm actually, I actually forgot how good some of these sunglasses look. The next Versace pair is, they were also a gift. And the gift that I originally received was in the color red and I actually exchanged them for the black. Now I just received a pair for my birthday so had I known those were gonna be black I probably would have kept the red. But these are actually new to the Versace collection. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys the side. Which, let me show you this side. So it has like the, uh, it's not the Versace logo but. Okay, Versace is now using this design on some of their items. But it has Versace on the side. These are really, really dark. So that is what I notice when I when I place these on. So if I wear these, I would actually like to be like at a cookout somewhere where I'm not just moving around a lot because they are they are so dark. I don't typically drive in these because they are so they are really, really dark. Which most of the time, Versace sunglasses, the lenses are completely dark. And so here is another pair that is absolutely my favorite now in my sunglass collection. I just recently received these for my birthday lifestyle lovers. Totally unexpected. My girlfriend who lives in Dallas, I had commented on her photo and pretty much, uh, she had on these, she had on these glasses. So I commented on her photo, real matter of fact, like, girl, give me them glasses. And my girlfriend and my daughter actually gave this to me as a joint gift. So actually, as I was opening my gift, my daughter was yelling like, Ma, those are the sunglasses that you wanted. And I'm like, did I want these? And then I remembered that I commented on her photo and I was like, girl, give me them shades. And I got them. So they come with the Versace chain. As I stated, it has, you know, Versace is now using this type of uh, logo now on their items. And then it has the design on the side. I don't know what you would, I guess that's kind of like an oval shape type of, oh yes, honey, baby. Yes, I love, love these. And I actually have a Versace bag that I could pair with any one of the sunglasses. Let me just show you guys that. As you can see, I love Boston bags. I love like top handle bags that I can carry like this. So this is my Versace Boston bag that I've had for quite some time. But I can pair it with these or I can pair it with any of my Versace sunglasses that I have here, but I typically like to have a bag to go with, with my sunglasses. I'm extra, y'all, I can't help it. Okay, lifestyle lover, so moving on to some of my like miscellaneous designer um, frames that I may or may not have a bag to pair with. These Miu Miu, um, I do not have a bag to pair with these. I don't even, I don't even think they sale purses but these particular sunnies I actually seen I believe on a I can't remember I seen them some someone wearing them on Instagram and I absolutely fell in love with these they have like a neon yellow at the top and then they have like the pastel purple on the side perfect for your bright color outfits so let me just show you guys. It has the Mew Mew lettering on the side. What bag would I pair with these? Do I even have one? Mm, I don't know, let's see. I guess if I was to pair any bag out of my collection, it would actually be this uh, Giuseppe crossbody because it has the silver detailing chain 
just like the silver. I think it will complement this with an outfit. So yeah, yeah, that would definitely go. Yeah. Yeah, I love these. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So the next pair of sunnies that I want to share with you guys. This, these are also a pair of my favorite. This is actually a men's sunglass that I believe I purchased last year. Um, I had been lusting over them for quite some time, and I couldn't decide if I wanted to go with like the regular brown color, or they also have like a multi color um, similar to these. But these are the Fendi sunglasses oh my god i love these so i don't know if you can tell in the camera but it has the f's all over the lenses and then it has a very thin um it has a very thin whatever this is called but yeah i absolutely love these and if i would pair this with anything in my bag collection so if i would pair these with anything in my bag collection it would most definitely be this particular Fendi crossbody. Although I wear these shades with just about anything because they are very neutral. But this is like a perfect bag that I could pair with them. They absolutely complement each other. The next pair of sunnies that I'm gonna share with you are actually um, my MCM sunnies, which comes in the MCM case. Oh shoot. I've had these for quite some time as well. It's a kind of simple lens, you know, the boxy type frame, you know, but I absolutely still love these as well. I have quite a few items from the MCM collection with the, um, what do they call this? This Vesetto or the logo, the MCM logo. But if I was to pair this with anything out of my collection, it would absolutely be the MCM bum bag. I've actually paired it before, you know, worn it before with the outfit, but it goes perfectly together, you know, not doing too much, but I absolutely, you know, love having these frames in my collection. I think they're nice and simple, but you know, still adds that designer touch to it. So yeah. Also, next in my collection are some Kazale frames that I've had for quite some time, over five years. The Kazale frames used to be really, really popular, especially among like the guys because they would have like the nice frames, like, you know, similar to Cartier, Cartier's. Um, so I've had these for a while. I don't really wear them as much anymore but there's still some really, really nice frames. They were really expensive, you know, at the time. But I can pair these, let me clean them off because they're kind of dirty. So on these particular frames, like they have a little bit of pink, a little bit of teal. On the side, they have the Kazelle spelled out with more teal. And this is how they look on the side. My girlfriend, she was actually uh, looking at this pair, and I told her I don't, I don't know where you will be able to find them at now because I've had them for quite some time. So I still, you know, rock them sometimes. Really, not as much as I used to, but it's still a really, really, really nice pair of sunglasses. The fact that I paid so much for them just kind of keeps me holding on to them. Um, what would I pair these with? I could actually pair this with a Tory Burch bag. So actually, due to the pink detailing at the top, I could actually pair this with this particular bag. And of course, the maxi dress, if I wanted to, it would most definitely work. Okay, lifestyle lover. So the next pair of sunnies that I am going to share with you is probably the ones that you most see me in if you watch my channel. I have had these for a long time. <clears throat> they have my prescription medication in them. These are probably my most used, most raggediest pair of sunglasses, but I still love them, okay? So these are a pair of Tory Burch. So they're just like a brown 
color. It has the Tory Burch logo on the side. And they actually have my prescription medication in them. I don't take care of them. This is the case that, that they came with, which I still have, but I never put them in the case. These are the pair of sunglasses that I throw down in my purse. They are, they need to be tightened up. I absolutely love them. So I probably wear these every single day. But yeah, I've had them for quite some time and they're just, these are my go-to besides any of these that I've shown you or that you see behind me. These are my go-to sunnies. These are the ones stay in the purse. These are the ones stay in the car. Um, I, when I'm not trying to be cute, I'm not trying to do nothing. I just need to block the sun and see. These are my go-to Tory Burch sunnies. If I did want to pair them with my Tory Burch bag, I could. But I actually want to get another pair of Tory Burch um, sunglasses that are in tip top shape because these are most definitely not but they serve the everyday purpose as i stated you know blocking the sun and i'm able to see because they have my prescription in them so i will just go ahead and make sure i put them in the case this time try to take better care of them this is another pair that I'm going to share with you guys. Although they are broken, I do plan to get them fixed because I do think they are fixable. These are some Saint Laurent Sunnies. They have the YSL on the side and um, I believe they're fixable. It just kind of looks like this part needs to be fixed. And so I plan to get these fixed. So if you see these on my channel, you will know that they are not new I just have not yeah they can be fixed because look it's kind of like hanging off so um but these is pretty much how these would look as I stated they have the YSL on the side but they do need to be repaired and I do plan to get this these repaired during the time that I was actually looking at these sunnies I was going to purchase a YSL bag but I never actually hit the button on that but I do want to get like a YSL crossbody you know just to have um, in the future so that is on my list to you know add to my collection at some point and also some more sunnies that I do plan to purchase this spring and this summer I actually seen a pair of Valentino sunglasses that I absolutely love and I want. So that may be next on my list to purchase as well as a pair of Louis Vuitton sunglasses to kind of go with some of, you know, my Louis Vuitton bags and accessories. So I do plan to purchase at least two more pair this year, hopefully. We'll see how that works out. But that's pretty much it for this video, Lifestyle Lovers. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad I could finally get it filmed and finally get it done for you guys. Let me know what was your favorite pair out of my sunglass collection. If I'm able to find any of these sunglasses, I will link them in the description. But most of these are probably not linkable because I've had them for quite some time with the exception of the ones that I have purchased or gotten as gifts within the last year or two. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, I share a variety of things on my channel from home decor to vlogs, a little bit of fashion, a little designer every now and then, as you can see. If that is anything that you may be interested in, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. But other than that, that is it for this video, Lifestyle Lovers, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!